ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But well, you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But well, you're so high. Yeah, well, I just take a little sip every now and then. But well, you're so high. Bam! Hey, kids, welcome back. I'm excited today. Oh, not like... You know, Bardwell saw a puppy excited, but excited nonetheless, because this is another edition of Rotoboat. And this weekend, uh, I am going back home to the lake at my mom's uh, up in northern Indiana. And I'm going to bring, I think I'm going to bring the big Rockstar gas boat, because nobody's seen that run yet. I have not run it yet. I tuned her up in the yard yesterday. Um, I 3D printed an adapter so I could hook it to the hose and then hook it to the cooling lines of the engine. And then ran that bitch in the front yard on the stand and dialed in the engine. So that thing, you could pull a fucking skier behind that thing. It's, phew, I want to bring that to the lake if I have room in the car. It's that big. Because uh, I also have to fit three women and pet luggage in there. Um, or worst case, I'll bring the UL-19. But anyway, and we are still working on the rotoboat. The JJ rotoboat that we hydro dipped and the nitro that we're rebuilding. But I decided to start another project and it all came today, I think. And it's a nitro outrigger. I don't know if I'm going to do an actual build video of this. I'm debating because it's not a quick process. It's not like building a quad like, you know, I do in an hour. Hang on. I need to get some air in here. It's hotter than fuck. Um, it's a very long process because you're building an entire big boat out of wood. So here we go. A lot of guys are like, I'm building this whole boat for around 350 bucks. That includes everything pretty much except the radio, but I already have a radio. Um, but you have to, you know, probably with all the building expenses, epoxies and all that crap, you're probably looking at 400 bucks by the time it's said and done. It should go around 70 miles an hour and it's nitro, not gas. The big rock star boat is two cycle gas, like a weed eater engine. Uh, the hydro, the JJ Roto Geek hydro that we're building, rebuilding, that one's nitro. And this one's nitro, going to be nitro. And people are like, why don't you just build electric? Electric is usually faster. Maybe not in this case, because this is a very, very fast nitro boat. But an electric, yeah, you're probably gonna hit five mile an hour faster. And it's a whole lot easier. You don't have to fuck around with gas engines, you know, and all this sort of crap. One, I like little blue smoke. I think smoke is cool. Uh, two, I love the sound and the smell of the nitro fuel burning off the water. And it's just, it's just fun for me. I like it. And the other thing you got to think about too is if you're running 6S in an electric boat, you are in water and all boats take on water. They just do, you know, um, unless you tape, tape down the canopies and everything like we usually do. But uh, so yeah, having that high voltage in there. Plus, here's the other kick in the dick. You can only run an electric boat tops five minutes. I've never seen one, a high performance one that runs more than five minutes. Um, Whereas Nitro, you can run half an hour, or the big Rockstar gas boat actually runs about an hour. So, yeah, I just, Nitro's fun. I'm, I'll probably do another electric one. But anyway, I got stuff in the mail. Let's see what we got today. So, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a build video of sorts, you know, throughout the coming weeks or week. Um, but I'll definitely do highlights on it. And I'll come up with the name of it. Ah, uh, here's our engine. This is an ASP Nitro 2, 0.21 engine. And um, it's made in China, you know, like everything else is. I did not buy a super expensive OS engine. This is actually a reasonably cheap engine to, uh, to use. I couldn't believe it, how cheap it was. And I asked a guy on YouTube, I said, uh, brother, you've used these engines, what do you think? And he goes, for the money, you can't beat them. They're actually really good. Um, usually a good nitro engine is gonna cost you 200 bucks. 180 bucks, 200 bucks. I paid 60 for this. And I literally double checked with this guy. I'm like, you know, I'll take your word for it because you've used them and I haven't. And I know nitro engines fairly well. Um, he's like, yeah, go for it. He goes, I've had no problems with mine. So, yeah, okay, fine. Here we go. So, instruction manual. And here's our carb assembly with our jets, our needle jets, and all that good stuff. Here is our muffler, which we are going to have to replace. And we're going to put a tuned pipe on this bird. Duck. Sorry. And here's the engine. Very, very straightforward. Nothing fancy. It does have a water cooled head. Nice, 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 nice. There's your piston, your sleeve. Beautiful. 0.21. It's very clean looking. Does not come with a glow. Well, maybe it does. You might have to buy a glow plug for it. 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, comes with this universal shaft. Wow, nice little rig. So, for that kind of money, shit the bed, man. That's, I'm impressed. Uh, we'll find out what it runs like, but like I said, that dude, who I don't know from Adam, but he had reviewed, you know, done some reviews and boats with these engines. Bam, there we go. I'll hunt his ass down. I don't know what this is. It's from Horizon Hobby. And usually the only thing I order from Horizon is boat junk. They ain't worth the shit for quads. Spare parts. Oh, I ordered that for the nitro boat we're rebuilding. Look at that big old box. <laughs> that little part, really? Okay, cool. Whatever. Now, the meat of the business. This is the boat. Now, that's pretty disconcerting when a boat comes in a box this big. It's not very big. Um, this is the length of the boat, probably. It might be a little bit longer, but uh, it's only this wide. I don't know. You probably can't see it. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of building involved. But I bought this boat. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, it's like a world record holder for a outrigger. Outrigger has a fuselage and two sponsons out the front, and that's it. It's, it and I ordered the... Uh, custom canopy for it, fiberglass canopy, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Here's the canopy. Let's see what we got. Ah, fiberglass. And you even have to trim it. How cool is that? <laughs> when I say kit, I mean kit. All right, this thing, none of it is built. You better be, it, you better like building models, okay? And when people say, oh, I'm building a quad, I'm building a new model, trust me, you're not building a model. Here's your spot. Got interrupted again. This is how big the front sponsons are gonna be, which are pretty good size. So the wood is gonna get glued to the sponsons and then sanded and all that good stuff. Notice they're using house insulation. This is that foam that you put um, on your house when you're building it. What else? Oh, uh, more cardboard. I ordered a couple starter belts. I thought, yeah, I ordered two. So there's one. Because I broke one the other day, but then my, my bitchin' cool neighbor Dave gave me one. Here's another one, and then it even came with one. Cool. All right. Comes with a printed manual. This is the JAE 21 GT. Very, very fucking cool. They give you a manual with it, which I like. I don't like, as much as I'm a computer guy, I don't like reading manuals off a computer. Even though I love my Kindle, <laughs> I still like reading manuals in my hand, especially when you're doing a build because then you can just go back and forth and all that other crap. Um, packing sheet, 304 bucks. That's what I paid for everything. Now that comes with, this is the deluxe um, running kit, okay? The deluxe, del so if you buy this model, which is 109 bucks just for the boat, and then the deluxe running kit, I think is 146, costs more than a damn boat does. Is that right? Ultimate Hardware Combo, 146, okay? So, realistically, everything minus the, a couple belts that I bought, uh, 146 and 105 bu 109 bucks is the entire boat, but then you need the engine. So then the engine's 60, so you're looking at 350 bucks. That was right. Uh, this is actually nose foam, do not throw that away. And here's your running fin. It's a big fucking running fin, holy shit. This thing's gonna be wicked. Um, and all the parts, I'm not gonna open this right now, but all the parts are laser cut and carbon fiber. Yeah, gonna be bad, 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 bad to the bone. So that is it, that is what's coming up. Um, the cool thing about this, if you like building, okay, you have to like building to do a boat like this. I used to build these when I was a kid and they weren't nearly this nice for one thing. They, I did have to pay extra for this. This was like 20 bucks. Uh, but this is the cowling, so that's cool. We'll cut this out. Um, but when I used to build these as a kid, they were just uh, press cut like, like uh, what do you call those? Puzzles. And you had to glue the shit together and all this other stuff. Now they're laser cut. They come with instructions. They, when I bought them as a kid, man, them little, the fucking huge ass boat came in a box this big, man. And it took you like six years to put that son of a bitch together. Then you hit a metal buoy doing 60 miles an hour. Bam, you're done. That ain't no good. So, um, yeah. This is going to be, and I'm not saying it, they say, of course, the company that makes this, which I got this from Zip Kits, um, they say anybody can build this. It's so simple. I highly doubt that. I've read the instructions, 
uh, online about three times, and uh, it's not that hard, don't get me wrong, but it is harder than putting a quad together. You have to use 30 minute epoxy, you have to use five minutes epoxy, you have to use special wood glue, you have to, and not, we are gonna hydro dip this, and then we're gonna clear coat it with epoxy, nitro proof epoxy. Uh, so it's gonna look really, really cool. Um, but yeah, it great winter project. I'm probably gonna have mine done well before winter, I hope. But um, uh, if you like to build, if you like to sit at a fucking table with a cigarette, a vape, and a drink, or whatever, and just, piddle puddle around and build something this is something really cool because you're really i built this for the price i'm gonna build this for the price of an expensive quad you know so you know allocate 400 bucks that's gonna get you the engine the boat the running kit and the glues and all that crap so uh but realistically you buy a ready to run boat it's gonna cost you a thousand bucks or it's gonna cost you five or six hundred bucks depending on how you look at it so anyway Stay tuned for that. We're going to come up with a cool name for this guy. Um, I'm not sure what yet, but that way I always name stuff so I have a reference for it in the videos. Uh, I'll come up with something probably before this video is even over. So, till the next time, kids, bam, take care.